97 Joe Flacco. 97 Ray Lewis. 97 Shadow Corner Devontae Adams. 97 Strong Safety Derwin James. 97 Defensive Rookie of the Year Will Anderson Jr. Are we about to go to the playoffs? Is this the NFC Championship? No! We're 3-0 and with this absolute monster team. 90 offense, 93 defense, and 91 overall. And I tell you what, we have earned every step of this squad. What's good, boys? Welcome back. Hope you're having an amazing day. There's really only a few positions left that are real liabilities. Colby Sorsdahl, Derek Parrish. We gotta get you gentlemen out of there. Nelson Aguilar, Steve Smith Sr. Other than that, that's only four spots on offense that need filling. And let me tell you, if there's a hole that needs to be filled, I'm gonna fill that hole, okay? If there's one thing I've learned, I have genital herpes. And then on defense, 96 Sean Taylor, 97 Derwin. We got Spoon, Stingley, Adams at corner with Kermardi as a backup. Then the D-line is nasty. We even added 87 D-tackle ultimate legend Geno Atkins. Only real things I can mess with here is outside linebackers, MLB 2. And honestly, Spoon and Stingley are a little bit outdated. But, but defense is looking great too, Like to keep it simple. Season 7 so far has been one of the craziest, most OP seasons. I'm hoping we can keep that up. But damn, man, keep in mind, two losses could set me right back to three and two and all of a sudden we're in a scary spot so until i make the playoffs we're never really set we are balls deep cock deep all three inches into a season of wheel of mud you guys know exactly the rules let's get our first of three wheel spins weekly wild card top 12 so weekly wild card is the promo that our prestige jamar chase is from they're honestly just like random players that you know otherwise weren't getting upgraded cards kind of like jamar chase which is why it worked out we are going to sort by program so we'll go weekly wild cards then i need to switch it to time remaining we can choose one player out of the top 12 let's go baby time remaining and look who it is shit it's actually the last guy we wanted to see because we already have him so not jamar chase but there's d winters he's nuts in your mouth christian dara saw there i saw it your nuts in my mouth. Lucas Patrick. I don't have a good one. Levante David. Nothing. Paulson Adebo. Paul. Son. Put your balls in my mouth. Could be worse. Case Keenum. I'm gonna catch a case if you put your balls in my mouth. Greg Van. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. I'm too busy making my jokes. Wait a minute. Okay, we have two heater options. Two really good options. 96 right guard, so I would move him to right tackle. And we would be finished on the O-line. Or, and I'm kind of leaning in this direction, PS2. Patrick Sertan. We've had him on the squad before and he's always been amazing 62202 i'd put him at corner two and then i would move spoon to corner three and stingley to corner four he has 99 pursuit a hard 99 he's actually so good we got to do this he's gonna be a lot more impactful than a right guard at right tackle because i can pick up a lot of guys to do that in fact i could just pick up darasaw too i think we go sertan i wonder if he gets any good discounted abilities looks like he does have a sixth ability slot hopefully these are discounts flat zone ko the way i'm gonna use him he's never really gonna be in a flat zone okay but he does get pick artists for free. And honestly, when flat zone chaos is free, you got to take it, right? Don't think we'll get a lot of use out of that. But damn, this boy is looking good. So the new CB1 is Patrick Sertan, which I actually think makes more sense. He's more of a true corner than Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams still kind of scares me. Um, Stingley CB4. And where's my CB3? Devin Witherspoon. Yeah. Okay, those adjustments went perfectly. All right, Patrick Sertan never thought that we would be adding weekly wildcard 96 Sertan to the squad, but... That's the whole point of wheel him up, baby. You gotta love it. Second wheel spin! It's a top 12 day, baby. All right, we start the entire auction house by 95 to 96 overall players, and I can choose one of those players. Oh, shit, I'm an idiot. I should have written this as 94 to 95 or 96 to 97. I'm gonna be honest, though. 96 to 97 is not fair because the absolute best cards in this game are 97 overalls. I don't think I should be entitled to that. Otherwise, that's basically a jackpot spin. I'm gonna go 94, 95. I apologize on the typo. I already cheated this season with a Devontae Adams, so we're going 94, 95. So, 90 94, 95, one player out of these 12. I see my father, CJ Stroud. Steve Largent. Jair Alexander is limited. Love that card, but we probably don't need it. Mike Allstock. Honestly, I really like that. Randy, see, because I could take Randy Moss or Steve Largent. Dante Whitner is a no. Both Derrick Henrys are no's. Two is a no. Saquon's a no. Ricky Williams a no. I'm getting a lot of halfbacks. I'm going to take Allstock. Here's, the, here's my reasoning for Allstock. There are so many opportunities to get wide receivers. There are not a lot of good opportunities to get fullbacks. And 94, Mike Allstock is the best fullback in this game 94 speed 94 impact block 87 lead block this is the move here now jameer gibbs will be excited on i formation runs and to our third and final wheel spin of the episode 
You're watching this video on March 6th, I believe, so I don't think Trent Williams has come out yet. Just thought I'd say that. Oh, darn it. All right, there's an AKA crew jackpot, which lets me get the limiteds. All right, so this promo was basically trios of players or groups of players that had nicknames. It's kind of hard to describe. Gale Sayers, Randall Cunningham. Neither of these are limited, so they're options, but I can't use either of those guys. There's also a 96 Troy Aikman. Can't really use him. 96 Emmett Smith is like a minor upgrade, but I don't want to take out my boy. And then there's Ed Tutal Jones, Night Train Lane, Beast Mode, uh, and Michael Irvin, which are some of the craziest cards in this game, but those are the limited, so I, I can't get them. Let's look at the 94-95s. Ray Nitschke, wild man. I had him last season. He was pretty damn good. Ken Riley, the Rattler. Okay, dude, Justin Matabuike with Unstoppable Force is so good. He's a really good option right now. Definitely could pick up a wide receiver. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. You know exactly who I'm going for. I can't believe I forgot about this. Tori I don't know how many of you remember this story, but my first ever YouTube video, eight years ago, yes, eight years ago, I was playing Madden Mobile 16, and I was recording a video on how to make coins or some shit, and I'm opening a pro pack as an example, and I pulled 92 overall legend Tory Holt. My reaction was so cringy and so funny at the same time. This guy's a legend in my heart, man. So much nostalgia. I have to go Tory Holt. 95 speed. He's like, he's not that insane. He actually is a really good wide receiver, but he's not that insane. He gets ankle breaker as an X factor. It might be funny to tinker around with, but I don't know. Gets route tech wide receiver. Super apprentice or evasive really don't need any of those either i think we just raw dog tory holt and uh pray he doesn't get pregnant some awesome upgrades today we upgrade the wide receivers we get our fullback and we grab patrick sertan i gotta say though if i lose this game and i don't get to keep tory holt that's gonna make me really sad like nostalgia sad not just like i lost the wheel of mutt game sad we are now a 93 overall congratulations to the squad tory holt is a 96 here's the thing though ankle breaker is zero ap and how often do i really activate freight train on jameer Gibbs. Not very often. I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna try this ankle breaker ability on him. All right, boys. A 93 overall. Filled some serious holes on that team. Of course, all that's left is the challenge wheel. This is a really important one for me today. And we'll talk about it after I see what the challenge is. I got this one before and I think there was a rage quit. So this is a perfect challenge to get again. 100 plus yards with two separate players. These are all purpose yards. So Jameer Gibbs could have 50 rushing, 50 receiving. That is 100 yards for him. And then Torrey Holt could have 100 receiving. Now, the reason I say this is so big is because if I lose the game, but complete the challenge wheel, I am allowed to salvage one player. I'm obviously not planning on losing, but I really want Torrey Holt on this team. Chef E84 has got Dan Marino. Chuck Howley, Ray Lewis. Joe Flacco, Ray Lewis, Devontae Adams. Let's get it, baby. Ah, I'm taking on my former Wheel of Mutt team. Oh, he's got Super Bowl McCaffrey, huh? With the light it up. With light it up evasive. Starting in dollar three, two. I'm on Ray Lewis. Something tells me he's gonna want to go McCaffrey a lot. Oh my god! <gasps> Sertan! How do you have the ball? Did Spoon just swap the ball into Sertan's hands? Oh my god, he did! Patrick Sertan! Holy shit! All right, on defense, he's got some abilities out there. Well, I tell you what, I'm glad he threw that pick early. So if I can, so I can throw to Tory Holt over the middle, and he should have a high success rate. I like that. Oh, shit. What a heater. What was that blitz? Third and eight. I'm actually kind of like getting stonewalled here. Okay, another blitz. Let's go Tory Holt. Skill move. Oh. Dude, not gonna lie, I thought that the skill move was gonna activate and I'd break that tackle, but damn, dude, that, whatever defense he just threw at me was a lot. It was too much to handle. So we go three and out on the opening drive, but this is why we have Butker to pin kicks just like this. We start the game with a defensive stop and a field goal, but I am no closer to my challenge wheel and I gotta figure out his defense. So, damn, that was a quick minute. Oh my God. First and 10. Let's get another stop. Dude, this guy is gonna go McCaffrey all day. All right, we gotta get ready to cover him. Here we go, baby! Come on, Pete Warner, Logan Wilson. I got my white boys and then Ray Lewis down the gut. Go, go McCaffrey, go McCaffrey. I will pick that shit so fast. Dot. Shit. Maybe stretch alert bubble? No. Hey, Nick Bosa. Everybody thinks Nick Bosa discriminates, but he doesn't. He'll fly at white quarterbacks too. Come on, let's get some pressure here. Great defense. No, no, I, sh I was on it. <gasps> he overplayed it. Yo, he switched on to try to snag that. And he overplayed it. I've, I've been caught doing that in the last couple episodes too. Now we go with the blitz. I got to cover McCaffrey if he's on a wheel. He is. Yup. If you don't block McCaffrey there, you don't got time to throw. Fourth and 15 from the 49. All right, we're going to play dollar. We're going to play deep. I'm going to go on spoon. 
He shouldn't have anything. Oh, what a play, but he missed it. I pulled Spoon out of that purple. Oh my God, I just got bailed. Did somebody get home and affect that throw or what? Because I just got bailed straight up. Does he go with the same blitz? No, this is actually a different defense. Before he was sending a six-man blitz at me with the linebackers. All right, now keeping in mind, I do have an RPO out of this. Zone alert Omaha, which I can throw to George Kittle. And he's going to pirouette. I got to just take that play out of my rotation, man. If they pirouette, no chance you get yards on it. All right, second and 11. Gibbs is going to be wide open. Beautiful work, Gibbs. But I am getting honked down. I thought I might have the wheels to get around that. No, sir. I'm going to put Gibbs in the middle here. I'm going to put Tory Holt underneath. See how this looks. Gibbs is there. Keep it simple. Don't complicate things, Matt. Go smoke screen on Tory Holt. See what their zone drops look like. Beautiful. I love that. Mm. Tory Holt! A lot of people put their zone drops super deep like that. Makes it possible. Just like this same thing right here. All right, seven for eight, 40 yards. Offense is looking good right now. We're not hitting him with any nukes, but not everybody's Oppenheimer. There's the blitz. Gronk, oh, I had Gibbs on a touchdown. Shit. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to get it anyway. Let's make this 10 to zero. End of the first, it's 3-0. Dude, wait a minute. This is a really interesting way to activate Tory Holt. This is jet pass fake zone. So this is a pass. So this should consider Tory Holt I was going to say it should use his ankle breaker, but I'm realizing that ability is not so great because you have to use a skill move. So if you don't use a skill move, then do shit. Let's see if he's in man. He is. Tory Holt. Whip round. The GOAT. You don't need the ability. You really don't. Nine to zero. I'm going for two. We're already at a two possession lead. I'm going to go Tory Holt on a hitch. And I got to quick throw this right there. Boom. Holt. Oh, no. No. Knocked out. Oh, he wants. God, that's a dot. Gotta keep mixing my defense up. Let's guess pass here, and I'll go on Ray in case he runs an inside zone. He does not have McCaffrey, but he does have that. Damn it. Hoping that zone KO on Sean T might be enough. I'm gonna send a risky blitz. I'm sending Sertan and Logan Wilson here. Oh, and he throws to Sean T! Let's go! Get out of there! Oh, let's go, dude. Stop testing. That Sean T is so good. I see George Kittle pressed. I'm gonna go Jameer, another knockout, damn. Love this formation so much. We get Allstad as a blocker and then Holt. That beautiful corner route right there. Oh, shit. Oh, that's Donald Parham, middle linebacker. I don't know if you guys have seen that card. It was like a Madden stream exclusive or something. It's not on the auction house. Card is nasty. Third and 10, dude. Every once in a while, he just starts to kill me with his defense. Oh, here we go, Holt. Single coverage, got him! Go, Dorian Holt! It's gonna take another one home! Go! I'm Madden legend, bro. I'm Madden legend. Now my two-point conversion's really big. Because if I can make this a 17-point game, well, this shit's about to be all she wrote. Oh, Tori, I need you, buddy. I need you. Oh, no, I didn't get it off. Damn, I'm so electric. And then I get to my two-point conversions, and I am dog water. You know what's even sadder? If I just kick both PATs, I'd have 17. But honestly, if I lose this game, I deserve it. We're playing so well right now. Let's just keep doing that. Ray Ray? Oh, McCaffrey got me. Or did he? Excellent decision to free for him because I might have actually lurked you there. All right, my responsibility is McCaffrey. Play action. Nice block pickup, McCaffrey. Oh, come on in! He's gone. Naturally, he's gone after that. I don't know why we are cooking so hard right now, but we are cooking so hard. No challenge wheel needed for Tori Holt. Well, I, okay, so in this game, I definitely did not complete my challenge wheel, so there's no way I can try and finesse it. But we do keep the players we added and another spin on the rage quit wheel, baby. Let's get it, boys. Big rage quit wheel spin here. This is how we keep absolutely building this like just monster team is this right here what does that say worst position plus five that really doesn't help us that much unfortunately because i have a silver right tackle in but at the very least i can now put in a 73 right tackle which is an upgrade so i will happily do that blake freeland you are a houston texan you know not every upgrade is going to be a 97 overall limited guys come on we have to be we have to take everything we can get and wheel them up even a 68302 63 speed blake freeland gentlemen i'm sorry for a short episode episode nothing makes me sadder than a short episode of wheel of mud but what if i promised you a banger next episode would you forgive me gentlemen i love you thanks for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next wheel of mud peace